Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my Logic Pro 11 Mixing Fundamentals course. In this video, we're going to enhance the lead vocal by adding time-based effects like reverb, delay, and modulation. And we'll do this the same way we did with the guitars in a previous video by using sends, buses, and aux tracks. Time-based effects are essential for bringing a vocal to life and helping it sit in the mix with the right sense of space and depth. Whether it's a short slapback delay, a lush plate reverb, or a touch of chorus, time-based effects can take a dry, upfront vocal and make it feel more immersive, more emotional, and more polished. Okay, so let's add some time-based effects to the lead vocals. The first thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to separate the verse vocals from the chorus vocals. I want some of these on different tracks so that I can have different send levels on these different tracks. So one thing you probably already know is you can press Command D to duplicate a track, or you can click the duplicate button up here. But check this out. If you select a track, hold Command, and then click the duplicate button, this will actually make a duplicate track with duplicate regions. And so what I can do is I can call this first track here Lead Vox uh, Verses, then I'll call this one Lead Vox Choruses. And so I'll just get rid of the verses on the chorus tracks and get rid of the choruses on the verse tracks, just like so. We can call the outro a chorus track as well. And then I'm also going to create a separate track for the uh, bridge vocals. So I'll call this lead vox bridge clean. So we'll get rid of the verses. There we go. So that's on a separate track. And then I'll just call the scream track lead vox bridge scream. Then I'm gonna take all four of those lead vocal tracks. I'm gonna put them in a track stack, put these in a summing stack. I'll just call this lead vocal bus. And typically what I start off with are three aux tracks with a reverb, a thickening or chorus or modulation effect, and then a slap delay, which also helps to thicken the vocals. So I'm gonna select all of my lead vocal tracks. I'm gonna create a send off of bus 19. I'm gonna go over to bus 20 as well, and then bus 21. And yeah, I'm option clicking on all of these while they're all selected just to set them all to unity. I'll play around with the levels uh, a little bit uh, in just a bit. And let's just move these aux tracks over into the track stack. And so here you can see they're all here in the track stack. If I collapse the track stack, all of the time-based effects go with it. And also the aux tracks are gonna be routed into the track stack. So this first one, I'll just call this Vox Verb for Reverb, Vox Thicken, and Vox Slap. So let's mute the Thicken and Slap tracks for now, and let's just work on getting a nice uh, vocal reverb going here. In fact, I'm just going to solo the uh, vocal bus, and let's add Space Designer to our reverb aux track. Um, typically, I am a fan of using plate reverbs on vocals, on a rock vocal like this though, we don't need like a really like large space. We need a reverb that's kind of shorter and um, almost helps thicken the vocal more so than actually creating space. So I'm gonna use the small spaces plate reverbs, vocal plate reverb in Space Designer. And once again, when you're using time-based effects on an aux track, you want the dry signal to be muted and then you can set the wet signal to whatever you like. And in the verse, we're probably going to want quite a bit less reverb than what we have in the choruses. Now that you're sober, don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around and tell me that you can't give one more day. Don't ever tell me why. Don't you ever tell me why. Now let's go over to the chorus here. I'm going to mute the backing vocals for now. But the chorus vocal, yeah, probably needs a little bit more reverb. I carried your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be. Okay, let's go back to the verse and let's add our second time-based effect. There are a lot of different modulation effects you can use. You can use the chorus, the ensemble, the modulation delay works well. The one I tend to prefer to use if I have to use a stock plugin is the ensemble effect. This is essentially a multi LFO chorus effect. It's like a multiple chorus effect and it allows for stacking uh, and detuning voices, much like you can do in a synthesizer. I'm gonna start with the rich modulation preset 
And sometimes I, I like to listen to my time-based effects soloed just to hear them separately from the dry signal. Now that you're sober, don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around and tell me that you can't give one more day. Okay, and let's see what that sounds like in the mix. Now that you're sober, don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around and tell me that you can't give one more day. Don't ever tell me why. Don't you ever tell me why. Cause I don't want, I don't want to know. I can't read your heart when you need at me. That's just how. Okay, so a little bit more of the thickening in the chorus and a little bit less in the verses. And lastly, we're going to add a slap delay on here. I typically just like to use the tape delay for this. And what I'll do is I'll just choose the 16th note slap. I'll turn off the tempo sync and I'll dial in my own slap delay time. Now that you're sober, don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around and tell me that you can't give one more day. Don't ever tell me why. And then the delay on its own. Don't you ever tell that you're sober. Don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around and tell me that you can't give one more day. So that's just a single voice that's being filtered that is 52 milliseconds behind the lead vocal, just helping to thicken uh, that vocal. And for slap delays, you always want a shorter delay time with a very low feedback. Don't ever tell me now that you're sober. Don't Probably don't need that much, though, so let's roll it down a bit. Don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around and tell me. Let's jump over to the second verse. Just see what this sounds like there, too. If I stay, who would I adore and what would I embrace? Again, when we mute it. If I stay. And then bring it in. If I stay. In the mix, you really don't notice it quite as much, but all three of these are helping to just thicken and reinforce uh, that lead vocal. And of course, once you have these effects loaded up like this, you can control them globally from the aux track. So if you just want a little bit less or a little bit more time-based effects overall, you can roll these up or down. Let's go over to the chorus. In fact, let's see what the chorus sounds like with the backing vocals in and uh, these time-based effects. I carried your heart when you needed me. That's just how our love was meant to be I keep on tearing through your tragedies I took the brunt of your shame And all your misery It's just a goddamn shame That you cannot see And again, because everything's going into this single vocal bus I can also control the level of all of the vocals and all of the vocal effects all at once. Um, so that's really helpful as well. And those backing vocals are going to sound so much more rich and uh, wide and big when we add time-based effects to those as well. Okay, so let's move over to the breakdown section. I want to do a couple of uh, unique things over here. Uh, first and foremost, with the screams, it's pretty common with screamed like metal vocals to add a bit of like a pitch shift and layer in a pitch shift. Let's hear what these sound like as is for now. Through blinded eyes, can you finally see the hell you put me through? Through blinded eyes, can you finally see? Yeah, I think I like a little bit more modulation there maybe a little bit less reverb on the screamed vocals through blinded eyes can you finally see 
Hey! Now, what I might do on screamed vocals, what I commonly do on screamed vocals, is I'll create another send. Let's go over to bus 22. Let's throw this in the track stack. And I'll call this like low voice or deep voice or deep vox. There we go. And I use a third-party plugin from Eventide called the H3000. And the H3000 has a really cool, like, low, deep voice uh, effect uh, preset in it. <laughs> and then you can kind of blend that in uh, it, with the uh, screamed vocal. Through blinded eyes, can you finally see the hell you put me through? Now, if you don't have that, um, you can kind of get a similar effect by using the vocal transformer in Logic. You could also try just like the pitch shifter as well. But I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop the pitch down an octave, which that on its own is not going to sound great. But then also pull down the formant shift to make it deeper sounding. And then in the mix. Through blinded eyes, can you finally see the hell you put me through? And then if I want, I can take that deep vox aux track and I can feed that into my other effects tracks. So for example, maybe I want a little bit of this to go over to the ensemble effect, the thickening effect. Or maybe I want a little bit of this going over to the slap delay, over to the reverb. I think I'm just going to use it on the thicken effect, but don't forget that you can route aux tracks to other aux tracks. Through blinded eyes, can you finally see the hell you put me through? Through blinded eyes, can you finally see the hell you put me through? Now, one last thing I want to do here is I want to add a long delay just on this section, not anywhere else. So what I'm going to do is on the scream vocal and the clean bridge vocal tracks, I'm going to create one more aux track. Let's go to bus 23, option click, and then we'll bring this over here into the stack. And I'll just call this long delay. You know what? Let's try out the stereo delay this time. Stereo delay, you can think of it as just like two tape delays, you know, one for the, the left and right channel. Here, instead of wet dry, you have output mix. So zero means all dry. 100% means all delay. Let's do like a dotted quarter and then do like a half note, like a pretty long delay. And then I'm going to filter these out a bit too. You don't want the full range being delayed. And I kind of like to play around with the filters as well. So maybe I'll make my shorter delay be a little bit higher and then the longer delay a little bit lower. Now, the problem here is, as is, um, both of these tracks are just going to have delay all over them. You don't want delay over the whole thing. You just want it at certain key points. You know, one approach to this is you could throw a compressor on the long delay track and you could side chain input both of these tracks so that they compress and duck the delay. And then the delay only comes out at the tail end of phrases, or you can just directly control them by automating the send amounts. And that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to press A to pull up my automation. And on both of these channels, I'm going to go to main and then I'm going to select the long delay send amount. And so that's going to let me control the level of the send with automation. And I can just click. And we're going to start with this all the way down. So the send is going to be at zero. And then we're just going to pull it up at certain spots where we want the delay. Another quick way to do this if you don't want to go searching through your automation menu is if you go up here and you go to mix and you make sure that auto select automation parameter in read mode is turned on, you can just click on that parameter and you'll see it shows up here in the automation uh, parameter menu. I can pull that down. So now we have no delay. Through blinded eyes, can you finally see the hell you put? But I just want a little bit of delay 
like maybe right here and right here. So what I'll do is I'll just write in the automation to roll up the send amount at that point. I say, the hell you put me through? And then we'll pull it up here as well. I say, the hell you put me through? There we go. Let's roll that back down there. And again, the higher the send amount, the more of that delay effect you're going to hear. I say, the hell you put me through. Let's go over to the other scream, and I want one more right here. We fight this on dying war. Okay, so that's cool. Let's do the same thing for the clean vocal. Once again, it's just going to be like the last little word of each phrase. So we'll do something like this. Hit me. We fight this undying war. I carried your heart when you needed me. Cool. So let's see what that sounds like in the mix now. Now, one last thing you can do with these long delays, if you want them to sound a little bit less like an echo and more of like this, almost like a combined delay and reverb tail, you can actually send the delay over to your reverb track. But that only really works if you have a long reverb to begin with. Um, I don't really have a long reverb. It's a short plate. So let's add a, another reverb on here. So we're just going to go to Space Designer again. And I'm going to go to large spaces, plates, and I'll use the shimmering plate. Now, just keep in mind that the delays are at 100%, so there's no dry signal already. If we feed the delay into the reverb and we only hear the wet signal, that means we're only hearing the reverb, not the dry delay, like not the delay itself. So I am going to pull up the dry signal here a little bit so we hear both the delay and the reverb. Through blinded eyes, can you finally see the hell you put me through? I carried your heart when you needed me. We fight this undying war. I carried your heart when you needed me. And as you can hear, as I mentioned before, uh, you can hear some some glitching and some artifacting going on in the vocals due to the flex pitch that we applied earlier. It's just something you have to deal with uh, if you're using all stock plugins in Logic. That's why I normally, uh, you know, if I'm mixing for a client, I'm almost always going to use Melodyne, not Logic's flex pitch. All right, let's see what this whole thing sounds like in the mix. Through blinded eyes, can you finally see? a little bit more on that last one. I think we can get away with it. Cool. So those are sends and time-based effects on the lead vocals. In the next video, we're going to do the same thing to the backing vocals and create a nice, rich, warm group vocal effect. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this 
As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.